Hey friends, not Link here, and welcome back to Roblox Flickr. It has been so long since we've been on this game, and I am back because I've got a little bit of news for you. Nothing too crazy, but something I think you might find a little bit interesting. So, are you ready for it? I don't think you are. <laughs> if you're excited for today's video and being back in Flickr, let me know by leaving a like. And of course, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing to join the channel. I would love to have you. Let's get started and let's discover the new things. Oh, I'm the detective. How cute. It's been so long since I've done this. I am totally rusty, but that's okay. We're not so much worrying about winning today. Today, I figured let's go in. Let's jump. Let's talk about these new things. Now, obviously, I'd like to win because, you know, that's just who I am as a person, but it's not our first priority. Our first priority is telling you that Flickr is getting back into business. Now, we knew this from a little while ago, but they are back in development uh, again. They're uh, posting some more leaks and stuff, some more information, and we are going to cover that today. So I'm pretty excited. And these guys over here, they seem like they're just loving it. <laughs> so you may be wondering, what is this update about? And when I say update, I don't mean that the game has updated, but more instead what has been said to us as an update of what's to come. The main thing being a lot of character changes. So if you don't know, which I'm, I'm assuming most of you know, <laughs> there are two game modes in Roblox Flickr. One being custom characters, which we are playing right now. You can create your own. And the second one being the anonymous mode. I believe there's also the classic mode. It's been a while, but we're not talking about that one. We're talking about the anonymous. Anonymous is the game mode that was here before custom characters. So you may recognize a lot of these characters like Mila or Tamia or Rita or Chlorine, people like that. That is what the main update news is about. Unfortunately, it seems like there's gonna be a huge revamp to the characters. And I know that some of you guys might be upset to hear that, but hear me out, I actually think this is a really good change. So what the developers are doing, they say here, we're creating a non-staff group of community members who would like to participate in the creation of characters, which means they plan on bringing brand new characters into the game, which I think is actually such a good idea. They say we're changing how we create our characters and want community members to be able to create characters that represent them. In addition, the diversity team will be given a platform to better be able to critique JJ Studio staff and community's ability to protect and represent minorities. So we've always knew that the JJ Studios, they've done their best in making characters that represent everyone and every form of life. And so what they're doing here is they're now creating a small group of people, community-based members, who are able to assist them in making that happen, which I think is great. It's always such a good idea. You can't see a thing. I am in the dark. <laughs> but I think it's always such a good idea to have feedback from other people. And so that is what they're doing here. Now, how many new characters are coming to the game? I'm not sure. I don't even know if they're planning on having them right away or not, but it's nice to know that they are going to be having people moving forward who will be able to assist them with that. Now, something else that's going to be changing about the characters in anonymous mode is that the lore behind them is getting completely wiped. Now, I'm sure you guys know I don't really pay much attention to the lore just because I enjoy just playing the game and there's just so much of it. And so sometimes I feel bad when like people tell me stuff about, I don't know, Kai or Jordan and I'm like, yeah, I, I, I don't know any of those things. But what they're doing now is they're completely scrapping that lore and adding more so like quick facts, which honestly I think is an impressive change and I am very happy for that. Some people might disagree with me there, but I think that'll allow other players and other people who are just getting introduced to the game an easier way to allow them to get to know these characters without having to read pages and pages and pages of paragraphs of lore and different relationship stuff and what they identify as and stuff like that. I think it's very important to have just a quick fact sheet because like, yes, these characters are important to people, but they are just characters. It's not like they're based on real people. Well, that's a lie. They could be. I'm sure some of them are, but it doesn't mean that they have to have this entire life story behind them. 
It just means that now we get to know a little bit about them and it's easier to spread that information towards the entire player base than expecting the entire player base to know all of the lore. They also say this will allow more creativity and interpretation of characters as well as help us with the process, which is exactly what I'm saying. It allows everybody to have a general idea as to what they are and then it's not so stuck in one situation. They could be this, they could be that. It's just up to however you interpret that character, which I think is really great. And if they're trying to be more inclusive, I actually think that's better. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna get voted out. <laughs> well, I mean, Lapis first, cause I said Lapis, and then I think I'm gonna get gone next, cause I think they're, <laughs> they're creating a Mr. Clean army, and I can't say I blame the Mr. Clean OP. Now here is something that I've got to fear a lot of people won't be happy with. A lot of your favorite anonymous characters are going to be removed. And that's not to say all of them. And they are definitely taking into account that there are community favorites and the favorites are going nowhere. But these characters, I don't have a list of them just yet, but these are characters that people aren't really super fond of, super crazy about, that they're just normal characters, nothing too, too special. I think those are the ones that they're going to be getting rid of just because they want to be able to make room for more characters to allow that these new characters that we rarely see the opportunity to actually be in the game more as opposed to the ones we see all the time. And you know what? I think it's a good idea. Out with the old, in with the new. Yes, it is very disheartening to know that potentially some of my characters may disappear and I will be thoroughly upset if they get rid of Mila because we stand Mila on this channel. But if they do, I can't really complain because they're right. They need to have the space in order to allow these new characters to come in. And I think if they are trying to get rid of the lore and add these quick facts, having more new characters and less of the old characters is really going to help them revamp that and allow them, look at my poor soul <laughs> sitting on the tree, and allow them the opportunity to expand to new people, appeal to new audiences. I think it's a good idea. Now they also say, in additions, characters who may be less popular but are unique will likely stay because we do not want to remove that representation from our game, which I think is awesome because hopefully that means Mila will stay. <laughs> oh yay, I have my lantern back. <laughs> now the nighttime won't be as scary. Okay, let's continue talking. We didn't win the last one, it was just the evil team, but I don't think anyone was even talking in that one, so it doesn't even really matter, but anyway. There's more. I know you guys might be upset about characters being removed. As I said, if Mila gets removed, I'd be pretty sad. But don't worry because there is an update on the characters when they will be removed. Joe says here, we have exciting news that may be comforting to many of you nervous of your favorite characters retiring from our anonymous mode. All retired characters will remain in the Flickr universe. We will have an opportunity for them to be found in servers and we will be posting a complex lore story background explaining their next adventure. Which basically means that, don't worry, even if they're leaving the Flickr universe, they're moving on to bigger and better things. And we'll learn about that too. We'll learn about their lore and their backstory. So the characters in the game will no longer have lore, but the characters being removed from the game, they will have lore and we'll be able to see what is gonna be their next step in life, which I think is kind of cool because it just brings a little bit of personality and realism to these characters. And since I'm sure a lot of you guys really, really love the lore that they have, having that little final send off I think is really sweet but I am curious to understand what they mean by we have an opportunity for them to be found in servers and I'm like hmm what does that mean does that mean like randomly one day you'll find them you know maybe just the the spawn chance for them is like super super low and they're like rare to be in the anonymous mode or does that mean that it can be found around the map like in the lobby or maybe in the trading area because the trading area is still a thing to come. 
I don't know. So when's the update? What is it gonna be? When is it coming? I don't know. I don't know when the update is. All I know is that they are working on it, which is great. Development has been slow and they've said that themselves, but you know what? To be honest, they always do such a good job. I don't mind waiting. But we do know that they are making room for new characters. There's gonna be those new maps that we talked about ages ago. And of course, we've got the trading center coming and the new roles. I think they were called the agent and the target, which are gonna be neutral roles. I think that's gonna be so cool. But to end off today's video, I think it's only fair that we purchase ourselves an uncommon crate so that we can try and get this anime surprise face one more time. <laughs> Because who knows, maybe when the trading comes in, I can just trade someone for the face. But it's it's quite nice to end it off on this note, isn't it? I think we always do our best. Please get me the anime face. Three, two, one, I beg. Please, please, please. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, I saw the smile and I thought for a second there I got it. Not the anime face I was expecting. This is the face I was expecting. But you know what? It's kind of cute. I mean, I think it's better than the faces I have right now. Let's put it on and let's take off my mask so we can take a solid look at it. What do we think? <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe we should put the mask back on. I, I don't know about that one, but <laughs> that was... um. Oh boy, maybe we'll get that anime face one day. But anyways, guys, that is where we're gonna end today's video. Rest assured, they are developing this and the changes they are making, I think are gonna be better for the community as a whole. It's gonna be cool and I'm excited to try it out. And I also can't wait for that trading center and the new rules, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> so if you're excited for that and you want me to play more Flickr when it comes out, let me know by leaving a like. And of course, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing to join the channel. I would love to have you. And if you like Flickr, this is the channel to be subscribed to. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye now.